before we start the video, if any of you want to leave any circuit requests or maybe just show some pictures of rooms you're working on, join the Zombie 878 City Club and there's a chat where I will chat to people. People will show maps they're working on and I show things I'm working on and we can talk about circuits here if you're having trouble. Now let's get into the video. Welcome back to another part of um, how to use the maker pen, how to make a room. I know it's been a while and I've been doing some things, but anyway, I decided what room I'm going to make. I'm going to make a kind of um, dungeon crawler room where you can choose your class. And uh, yeah, uh, I just chose that because I think it'll be the easiest to show you circuits. We're also showing you how to be all the way all at the same time. So let's go ahead and unfreeze all these walls and delete them. I don't know what part this is, by the way. So um, I'm, I'm going to have to search for um, what part we're on. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your maker room if you still have it after this long and you're just going to delete all the maker room walls and floor because that stuff is absolutely useless you are not going to use that so first what i do when building is you see we're on the floor and if you build below the floor if anyone spawns in they're not going to be able to go over there so what i do whenever i spawn is i select the roll chips you need to know these roll chips because uh i mean you don't need them but it's nice to keep them with you and what i usually do is i go up as high as i can and sometimes i'll go up even higher for a second time just to make sure that if I do make anything that goes down far, there's enough room down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, unselect these and we're going to start building the starting room of our dungeon crawler. I'm also going to change the how to make a room thumbnail to a nice thumbnail after I make this room. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go into our palette, which I'm already in the palette. We're going to um, get a cube sample. If you don't have this, turn on beta content. I had it in one of the other videos. <clears throat> these cubes are simply better than these cubes because you can line them up better as you can see. You can't see through the corner here, but if I try to do the same with this, you see that, uh, yeah, it don't match up as well. So use the simple cubes a lot better. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to get the simple cube and we are going to make the starting screen that everyone is going to see. So let's go ahead and get like a dirt texture because I, since it's a dungeon crawler, I kind of want to make it in an underground cave or something. Something like Binding of Isaac if you ever played that game. So we are going to get the dirt um, material and we are going to pick a color. We can go with ochre, which looks nice. Or we can go with something a bit darker or lighter, like brown. I think for this, I'm going to go with um, brown. I kind of... Um, actually, you know, I might go with ochre. And the only reason I'm going to go with ochre is because if the walls are also going to be kind of dark grayish, I kind of want the ground to be a little have a little light to it I, I want people to see well so we are going to um just manipulate this out a bit we aren't going to build a big room it's just gonna be kind of like this let's go ahead and manipulate it out the long way and i always like to make sure the center is where the roll chips are Let's go ahead and press done and get a welcome map. 
And of course, if you have CV2 on, you should use the, um, oh, well, I don't think this is in beta. Is this in beta? I don't know. They may have took it out of beta. Anyway, oh, I was working on something else. Uh, you want to make sure your snap is either at 45 or 90. I like 45. <clears throat> anyway. I am going to go ahead and turn this to surface and place this down. Why does this not look straight? Wait a second. That's because it is not straight. I don't know why it's like this, but I'm just going to go ahead and place the welcome mat down. And we'll figure out something later. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It goes toward this way. But the ground won't go toward that way. Why is that? <clears throat> Can I rotate this? If it doesn't go straight, just go ahead and... Rotate it yourself. We're going to be, um, how do I say this? We're going to be working in another sub room later, so don't worry about it too much if it's not straight. We just need to make a nice little starting area for people to spawn into and see. And we are just going to go into the welcome mat. And it's always nice to give your welcome mat a name so you know where it is. So I'm going to be like, uh, I'm going to name this a uh, title screen spawn or something like that. I don't know. Just uh, name it something. And you do not need underscores. You can actually just make it like that with spaces. I'm amazed that they don't do that with a lot of other things. And I'm going to make the spawn radius smaller. I'm going to turn it to the default spawn. So you always spawn here. And uh, they added this new thing called room owner lock. You don't really need to worry about that. That just makes it so if you have any mods or co-owners, you can turn this on. And now, nobody will be able to mess with the welcome mat except me. Which is pretty nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, make this a bit bigger. This is not big enough. Need to make this a little bigger. I kind of want to make a cube. If you um want to make this easier... You could always use the uniform shape. Uniform shape makes it into a nice little cube for you. But uh, I've used to make a pen so long. I can just make a nice little cube. And now that we have the dirt. Let's go ahead and make the walls. This is going to be very basic. This isn't really going to be our final product. This is just going to be a basic little thing. And yes, I'm not going to add any doors or anything yet. I'm just going to add the walls. So we are going to get some rock. Because I think the wall should be made out of rock. And we are going to make it gray. Because obviously rocks are gray. And let's see if that looks uh, pretty good. If I'm standing here, I look around, the walls are gray. Yeah, that looks pretty okay. And we're just going to have this go up to a decent level. I think that's good. And we're just going to clone this over. Make sure that it lines up well. And if it doesn't line up, you can always just go ahead and touch the manipulate thing and it will line up real quick. Oh, it moved that way because it's not lined up. I was wondering why it moved that way. Yeah, this is also another reason why you want to make sure things are lined up. And now we are going to add the other two walls. 
so right here just manipulate it like this make sure it's all lined up and unlike the other walls since they line up pretty well you don't really need to worry about fitting them in each other just go ahead and hit the manipulate yeah you don't need to worry about fitting them in each other because the lines are perfectly lined up which is really nice um okay that's fine and do the same for the other side and now we have our little room and with a spawn point in and that's a good um place to have your stuff at the beginning it don't need to look amazing at the start most rooms start out looking like this but you'll see eventually it'll get better i'm gonna drop the maker pen see how this is coming along um i would prefer the room to be a bit bigger because um i think if there were a lot of enemies in here it'd be hard to move around um yeah, I suppose we could make it bigger. So I'm just going to scale this up a bit. And I think this is good. Yeah, this seems pretty decent right now. Okay, and we are going to move our spawn point down. And yes, if you notice, I'm not cutting any of this out. Because I want to show you the building process and what people go through. Maybe sometimes I'll make a live stream if I'm doing a lot of work. But this is what we do. Just to make sure things look great. And now for the roof. We can either make it another dirt floor or we can make it rock. I'm going to go ahead with... Um, <clears throat> gonna go ahead with dirt just to make it uh easier to look at it doesn't line up well so like i said just hit the manipulate and it should go up oh doesn't seem like it oh i gotta hit the manipulate down yeah we don't want it to be glitching like that so we'll go ahead and um Make sure that it don't glitch like that. I mean, yeah, the person in the map isn't going to see it, but it's very annoying when you see it. Um, Make this do that. Okay, it seems like it is turning out pretty well. Want to make sure you got none of this glitching mess going on. It really messes with some people sometimes. And there we go. We got our little room that I promised we were going to make. And it's not glitchy. And it is perfect. So, always save your um rooms. Always save your rooms, and we are going to change the title eventually once I make this room. The first video is just me making this room. But yeah, go ahead and constantly save your uh, progress. You never know when it's going to lag out or crash. Sometimes I'm just working on something and out of nowhere I crash it. It will happen, so just make sure you do that. And as you can see, me saving the room has uh, changed the lighting a little bit. Because before you, um, before you save the room, the lighting was still bright in here. Because the sun was basically still... The lighting hasn't changed. The lighting changes every time you save it. So just make sure that... The lighting is what you want. And now that we have done this, we are going to make a little title. I would prefer to put people in a seat, but honestly, this is okay. Now we are going to make a title. So go to your palette and grab a text gadget. Text. 
And we are going to go ahead and place this down here. It's not lined up with the wall, so we're just going to turn it a little bit and line it up with the wall, hopefully. Um, I think that's good. Let's turn it a bit more. Okay, wrong one. Okay, I think that's fine. I, I think that's fine. Let's move it a little closer to the wall. And let's scale it up a bit so you can see it from here. And we are going to... Seems a little bit of it is glitching in the wall. Of course, no one is going to see that white part glitching in the wall, but you want to fix it because every time you look at it, it's going to be annoying to look at. And what are we going to name our map? Hmm, the possibilities. Let's just go ahead and make this dirt real quick, just like our ground, and make it ochre. The material is dirt, the color is ochre. We're going to have it synced so everybody sees the same thing. And we are going to uh, increase the character spacing a little bit. And now, what is the map going to be called? For right now, let's give it a placeholder name. I'm just going to call it Dungeons and... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, let's just call it Dungeons for now. It doesn't have an S. Completely forgot the S. Let's just call it Dungeons for now. And let's uh turn down the spacing. That's too much spacing. Uh, Keep that at zero, actually. Okay, we're just going to call it Dungeons as our little placeholder. I think that's perfect. You spawn in right here on the welcome mat and it says dungeons right in front of you. Perfect. And now we are going to add some doors. Now there's many ways to make doors, but I kind of want these doors to look a little um unique. So First, I'm going to get, where is it? I want to get a pipe. Do not get a donut. You do not want a donut. Actually, we're going to get the half pipe. And once we get the half pipe, we are going to make sure that it's stone, which, yes, this is stone. And make sure to place it down next to your wall. Going to rotate it by 90 degrees by hitting the red oxy oh yeah we need to line this up to the wall too don't we okay just rotate it a little bit that should be fine we're gonna have this go down to the ground and we're gonna have this go up and this is going to be the little archway so this is the start and we're going to make the archway look kind of like this. I think that looks good. Don't you think that looks good? I think it looks good. And let me make sure it's lined up to the wall. Okay, it looks lined up to the wall. And we are going to um, make it decorational. The reason we're making it Oh, I need to press done on it. The reason I'm making it decorational is, as you can see, if I don't make it decorational, I cannot go in, which is a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and make this decorational. And now, as you can see, I can go in when I wasn't able to go in. You can add invisible barriers um, if you want to uh to the sides of it if you want people to actually run into the archway but i just want it to kind of look like that then i am going to edit this again 
and I am going to get what shape do you think is going to feel this? It's either going to be a sphere that feels it, or it's either going to be a hemisphere or a cylinder. But like I said, we're going to try to use simple shapes. Sometimes we have to use other shapes. But the simple shapes are the best shapes to use. Now we are going to make this glossy plastic. And we are going to get the black color. This will be our doorway. So go ahead and place it like this. Turn this 90 degrees. You might have trouble selecting it. But just go ahead and do this like I just did. Going to turn this off and turn it a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. And we're just going to fill in this little outline over here. So it looks kind of like a door. We need to turn it a little more. Okay, that's perfect. Let's have this go inside a little bit. There we go. That looks perfect. And that doesn't need to be environmental. And now we have our little door. And like I said, this is going to be the starting screen. So make sure everything lines up well. And yeah, we're going to actually shrink this down. And there's going to be different doors you can go into. I'll get into that in... Mm, yeah, actually, I'll go ahead and make the other doors now. This one is going to be the dungeon. Let's get rid of the S. So if you go into there, you're going to go into the dungeon. And um, it's going to take you to a character select screen. Or if you want to, you can make it. So people have to choose their class before they can enter the dungeon, which is also an option. But anyway, like I said, we are going to go ahead and copy this and just put it on each side. That looks a bit weird. I think it's because I got world space on that it's doing that. Yeah, it's because I have world space on. Um, or no, it's not because I got world space on. It's just that nothing in here is lined up properly. Okay, so let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit. Maybe a bit too much. Move it to the center. Make sure everything is kind of in the center. And make sure this goes back to the wall. I can turn this a bit more. You just want to make sure everything is lined up pretty well. Okay, and now that we got that, let's go ahead and um, make this easier. We are going to hit this white circle which will clone it and then we just rotate it like this and there we go we have uh, two of these pretty neat little trick if you need to mass copy something and now we're just gonna place these near the wall hopefully it's in the center let's make sure that it is in the center okay and we are going to push this against the wall. And that will be the first room we're making in this video. Next, we're going to be working on the character select. So the next video will be going into circuits and stuff like that. So if you like that, I think you like that video more. But just know that it is important to make sure everything is lined up properly. 
you need things looking symmetrical you gotta make sure that you're looking at your corners and everything you just gotta make sure everything is nice and neat and the colors all work out with each other and go ahead and save your room and once you save your room the next video will hopefully come out this week <laughs> i i have many videos that i um have on my computer that i can edit but you guys don't need to worry about that you just need to worry about the game and the rec room content and before we go we are just going to go ahead and take a nice little picture we're going to change this picture but we want to get a nice little picture of our room. And this will be the placeholder. So as you saw, I took a picture. Go to this room. Settings. Change cover photo. And the room image you just took should come up. And now we know that it's this dungeon map. And since the map name could be taken, we're just going to name it, uh, I don't know. Let's name it, like, placeholder. And then put a bunch of random numbers. Four, five, six, three, or something. And then go ahead and save it. We don't need to worry about the room description right now. We'll worry about this stuff later. But... We are going to end the video right now. And yeah, this is the first room. I don't know if you want to copy what I'm doing or maybe just take notes. I mean, everything's honestly pretty good. But anyway, um, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video.